The energy system is rapidly transforming and clean energy is radically shifting the norms of energy production and consumption. In line with the European Green Deal objectives, in 2030, the EU should increase the share of renewable energy up to 45% from 23% in 2022. Most of this clean energy from renewables will be electricity, as it's the most efficient way to decarbonize our society. But renewable electricity generation is variable and weather-dependent. After all, the sun isn't always shining and the wind isn't always blowing. This is a big change from the old world of fossil fuel power plants, where generation was stable and predictable, but polluting. To accommodate this variability, it will be crucial to adapt how and when we consume electricity. The way our homes, schools, offices, hospitals, vehicles and industries consume energy must radically change. Consumers need to be able to automatically adjust their energy usage to respond to the fluctuations in generation or consumption. The ability to increase, shift or reduce energy demand in response to system signals is known as demand response. The consumers shifting their energy are called active customers. For example, by becoming active customers, households can save lots of money in their electricity bill if they have smart heating devices that adjust their consumption in a flexible way. Conversely, consumers can inject renewable electricity they produce into the system. This can be energy that they do not need to consume or that they have stored. These prosumers can produce and store energy on top of being flexible in their consumption. With help from active customers and prosumers, in 2030, the EU energy system could avoid 15.5 terawatt hours in renewable energy curtailment, a 61% improvement compared to if no action is taken, and avoid investments in 60 gigawatts of peak generation capacity, equivalent to 137 gas peaking plants, resulting in 2.7 billion euros saved annually. So what does it take to become an active customer or a prosumer? First, consumers need to have distributed energy resources deployed on their sites, such as controllable loads, energy storage facilities and small-scale renewable generation. However, the mere presence of distributed energy resources is not enough. Consumers must use them in a flexible way, reacting to external signals received from the system. There are two main categories of external signals. Implicit price signals require smart meters and dynamic retail tariffs from suppliers, which are modern price offers to consumers willing to adapt their energy use based on electricity price fluctuations. Explicit incentives often involve an aggregator who works with many customers to pool their flexibility and offer it on various markets, from wholesale electricity markets to those set up by transmission and distribution system operators. This helps to balance the grid and solve congestion while rewarding customers for their contribution. For example, an industrial customer using their electric furnace in response to explicit signals for demand response can earn €100,000 per year in revenue, providing a competitive advantage over a gas furnace. Through digitalization, consumers can activate their flexibility automatically, ensuring comfort in homes and efficient production for industries. Not only does this benefit consumers, but flexible demand will also optimize electricity distribution networks, saving between 11.1 and 29.1 billion euros annually. While demand-side flexibility can be offered by individuals, it can also come from collectives, such as citizens' energy communities, renewable energy communities, or energy sharing schemes. These participants can adjust their energy use to keep their local district in balance or choose to adjust their collective consumption and generation if the larger energy system requires it. However, demand-side flexibility is not magic. It requires the support of policymakers to eliminate barriers and create enabling conditions. The good news is that most of them were already identified and addressed by EU laws defined between 2019 and 2023. The sad news is that these EU legislative provisions are mostly ignored at national level, so this potential remains untapped. Smarten, representing the flexible demand management industry, stands ready to empower consumers to embrace this crucial new role in the clean energy transition. The activation of demand-side flexibility is the priority for Smarten, the only European association of the flexible demand management industry. To find out more, visit www.smartin.eu